question 4.3. Well, use the Laplace transform to calculate the output of the system. And this is the input output relationship of the system, which one I us to consider the case for input signal is ut and all initial conditions are zero. And when we say initial conditions are zero, that means the value of the font, the signal at t0 is zero. That's the initial condition. So we want to use Laplace transform. And so, and then using that, I want to calculate the output of the system. That's that means I want to find yt if the input is ut, okay? So let's, let's calculate the Laplace transform of this input-output relationship first. One thing we should note that is when the input signal is, when, um, sorry, the signal is x of t and the Laplace transform is x of s, then we can conclude that the derivative, the Laplace transform of this, the derivative of this signal, the of xt over dt equals s times x of s minus x of zero, but here it's assumed that the initial condition is zero, so I don't need to read that part. So Considering the initial conditions are zero, I can write this, uh, uh, actually, this relationship, that is the transfer, uh, sorry, the Laplace transform of derivative of x equals s times Laplace transform of x of t. So applying that, for this part here, I can write, instead I can write uh, s times y of s. Because we know the Laplace, trans the Laplace uh, transform of yt is ys, okay? So d of yt over dt is ys times s, as I said here. Plus, 3 times yt, okay? Well, because of the linearity, we know, let me remove this stuff here. We know if for a signal xt or yt, if its Laplace transform is xs, then if I multiply something here, like alpha, then I can do the same at the right. So I can write the Laplace transform of this item here, this guy here, like 3 times y of s, okay? And this equals, I can do the same here, 2 times x of s. 2 times x of s. But note that here we have, have uh, x t here, okay? We have the, the x t here, so we can directly calculate its transform, its Laplace transform. And we do that for the previous, uh, in the previous question here, okay? We found that the Laplace transform for ut is one minus, uh, one over st. So here I can replace this by one over s. And if I multiply that to two, so we would have two over s, okay? Now I want to isolate y of s. So y of s times s from here and 3 from here. s plus 3 equals 2 over s. And this means y of s is 2 over s times s plus 3. Okay. Now we have y of s and you know that if I want to calculate y of t because that's what we are looking for, okay? 
we want to find the output of the system. And the output of the system for xt is yt. If I want to find y of t, then that's enough to take the inverse Laplace transform of y of s. So we probably need to remove some stuff from here. So uh, I want to find the inverse Laplace transform of y of s, which is 2 over s times s plus 3. Okay. But usually finding the inverse Laplace transform of such a function, such a signals are kind of, you know, difficult. So we can use transform table. But to use the transform table, the first thing we should do is to further simplify, to further simplify this. And that means we should use fractional equations or fractional formula. That means I, I should write 2 over s plus uh, 3 times s in this format. a over s plus 3 plus b over s. Okay, you see that I decomposed this to two parts. a over s plus 3 plus b over Yes, so let me let me move to the next slide. I don't think we can make more here. So you see, we had two. Oh, we want to calculate the Laplace, the inverse Laplace transform of s times s plus three, and I write it down like in this form: uh, a over s plus three and b over s. Okay. Now I do. Uh, I, I, I try to write it in the first, the, the initial form. So I write that s over s plus 3, and then what would be a? If I multiply these two together, then the denominator becomes s multiplies a plus s plus 3 multiplies b. Okay. And we know here, from here, we know this equals 2 over s times s plus 3. So I didn't do anything magic, I just tried to decompose this. And to find the value of a and b, I need to combine this equation again to find the value for a and b. Alright, so the denominator are the same. So I can conclude that S A plus S plus, I'm sorry, S plus 3 times B, not S plus B. I missed, made a mistake there. S plus 3 times B. And if I expand this, then I have S A plus S B plus 3 B and this equals 2. So I can conclude that, well, S times A plus B plus 3 B equals 2. Well, we don't have any S in the right side. We don't have any S and that means the coefficient for S is 0. And so I can conclude that a plus b equals 0. But 3b equals 2. That means b equals 2 over 3. So if I replace here, replace b here by 2 over 3, I can conclude that 
I can conclude that a equals minus 2 over 3 okay so that means if I want to calculate if I want to find the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s times s plus 3 I can do that I can first expand that using fractional uh, expansion I can first write it in this way minus 2 over 3 times s plus 3 plus 2 over mm, 3 times s okay and now I can simply find the Laplace transform for this item and this item separately from transform table so let me just check the transfer table let me write it here I can say the Laplace the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s times s plus 3 which equals all these steps equals minus 2 over 3 times e to the power of minus 3 times t u t plus 2 over 3 so since I write I wrote down minus 2 over 3 here so I can write it minus u of t simply here okay so this is the uh, final answer of this question 4.3 so any question for this point